What's up Roxies? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to dive deep into the world of Sandalstone Zero to talk about the one, the only, the absolute unit Caesar King, leader of the Sons of Caledon. She is a towering, sword swinging powerhouse and let me tell you, she ain't just another pretty face. No, but seriously, today we are going to dive deep into why this physical defense character is easy to gear and easy to play but can be min-max so hard you'll turn your enemies into glorified punching bags. And when I say easy to play, I mean she's like easy to play. But the moment you start tweaking her kit, you'll feel like a certified genius. And the best part, you will look damn good while doing it. We are talking about shields for days, attack buffs so thick you'll need a machete to cut through them, and an impact that hits harder than your mom's disappointment when you told her you're still pulling for characters instead of paying your rent. So buckle up, grab those engines and let's dig deep into what makes Caesar King the queen of shields, debuffs and motorbike mayhem. Oh yeah, did I mention she's part of a biker gang? Because of course she is. Alright, no more stalling, let's get into the meat of what makes Caesar King such a beast. Spoiler alert, she's about to be your next favorite physical tank. Whether you are a casual player or a min-maxing fiend, let's go. Alright, buckle in because we are going to dive into Caesar King's talents and oh boy, it's like this lady was designed to laugh in the face of damage. Like seriously, her entire vibe screams, I dare you to hit me, it will be the last thing you do. Let's start by talking about our main attraction here. Caesar's core skill enhancement, barrier of resilience. This is where the magic happens and by magic I mean damage blocking nonsense. Anytime she activates her skill counter, chain attack, ultimate or the ever satisfying shield bash, she generates Radiant Ages, a massive shield based on her impact. And when I say massive, I mean we are talking 6000 damage absorption level of massive. Her shield is so beefy it could probably moonlight as a tank in any other video game. Not only does it protect you, but it also gives Caesar a hefty attack buff while the shield is active. It's like she's saying, oh I'm taking all of this damage, cool, let me just hit you back harder than before. And get this, the shield doesn't even stick around on her alone, it follows you across characters. So basically, everybody gets a shield and an attack buff. Caesar's out here like the Oprah of shields. You get a shield, you get a shield, everybody gets a shield. Oh, and did I mention you will also be glowing while it's up? It's not just functional, it's also fashionable. Call it Caesar's glow up, but you know, with the extra damage absorption. And if you're tired of Caesar glowing, you can also see whether your shield is up by looking at the small indicator next to your character. Next up, let us talk about her second talent, Battle Spirit. You know how most characters are all about teamwork and synergy? Caesar's like, yeah, I can do that too, but also here's a debuff because screw the other guy. Whenever Caesar pulls off a perfect block, a retaliation, a defensive assist or even an enhanced basic attack, enemies within a 7 meter range will get smacked with a juicy damage taken debuff. We are talking about a 25% increase in the damage they take for 30 seconds. And while we are on the subject of basic attacks, Caesar's got one that's mostly forgettable unless you are a sucker for spinning shields and Beyblades. That end. The charged version of her basic attack, sending shields spinning around her like a defensive stance of death. It is honestly like watching a Beyblade tournament, except instead of plastic tops, it is spiked shields of doom. Also, this move ties into that 25% debuff we just talked about. Hit your enemies with that end and boom, enemies take more damage. It costs one assist point, but hey, worth it. Now onto the real bread and butter of her kit, her X special attack. First we've got parry counter. Caesar charges forward, dealing massive physical damage. But here is the catch. If she is attacked during the startup animation, she will block said attack, take zero damage and then clap back with a shield bash saying, nice try, now sit down. And the best part? If you pull this off, you can immediately use your X special attack again without spending any energy. That is right, 399. This time it is called Overpowered Shield Bash and surprise surprise, it does a buttload of physical damage and heaps a ton of days to boot. But Caesar isn't just about big counters, she's got options. You can still use your Shield Bash even if you don't time that perfect block. It just costs energy. But if you do pull off a perfect block, not only do you get your energy refunded, but you also snag a 20% impact buff. Although to be fair, you also get that buff whenever you pull off a retaliation or a defensive assist. 
So yeah, not only is she blocking, but she's getting even stronger for doing it. It is like every single time you paid your taxes, the government is sending you a check for doing such a good job. Now here is where it gets really fun. Retaliation. After using any of her main skills, Caesar enters this guard stance where she is like, come at me bro. She will reduce incoming damage by 40% and if an enemy dares to attack her, Caesar will follow that up by using a brutal counter attack also known as overpowered shield bash, triggering retaliation. And if all of that wasn't enough, Caesar's got another ace up her sleeve. If you time things perfectly and use your skill without energy, she will pull off something called Roaring Thrust. Think of it as her version of Overpowered Shield Bash, but on a budget. No energy costs, less damage, less days, but hey, still pretty solid. Caesar's kit is all about smashing face and not getting smashed in return. And the best part, you can mix and match all of her abilities depending on what kind of fight you are in. Perfect blocks? Check. Shields that can soak up more damage than your average mobile game gacha bill? Check. Huge impact and attack buffs? Double check. She is a walking fortress with a massive sword and an attitude that says go ahead and hit me, I dare you. And trust me, you will want your enemies to try. Alright, let us talk about what really dazes your enemies into oblivion. First we have her parry counter with a perfect block, followed by her overpowered shield bash. This combo has the highest daze modifier in her entire kit. After that, we have her defensive assists, followed by her shield bash without energy, but with a perfect block. And after that, obviously, if you do a perfect block, you can also use your roaring thrust in order to daze your opponents even more. Moving on, let us talk about her Shane attacks. Now, Shane attacks in Zenithon Zero are all about racking up combos and keeping the damage flowing, but Caesar she adds an extra layer of sauce. Every single time she uses her Shane attack, it refreshes your Radiant Ages shield. You know what that means, right? That juicy attack buff from Radiant Ages gets reset every single time you pop off a Shane attack. It's basically Caesar's way of saying, I'm never going down and neither are you. Now we also need to talk about her ultimate. It is flashy, it is powerful, but, let's be real here for a second, it is kinda meh for our current DPS meta. Sure, it will deal some nice damage and apply days, especially when attacking shielded enemies, but here is the problem. Considering how thirsty our meta is for pure DPS ultimates right now, you're most likely going to save your ultimate for someone like Zhu Yi Yan. I mean, Caesar's ultimate is nice to have, but you probably won't be basing your whole strategy around it unless Mihoyo decides to change how her ultimate works in the future or how ultimates generally speaking work in the future. We will see. And finally, if you are wondering how to level her skills for maximum face smashing potential, here is a golden order you need to follow for upgrading Caesar's kit. First, we have her core skill enhancement. This is, without a doubt, your top priority. The bigger the shield, the bigger your attack buff. After that, we have her X special attack. You want that parry counter into overpowered shield bash combo as smooth as possible and this will make sure it hits like a truck every single time. Following those two abilities, we have her assist attack, basic attack and dodge as well as chain attack. All of those are going to be a minor part of Caesar's kit, so you can level them at the same time if you want to. But like I said, her core skill enhancement and her X special attack should have your highest priority. Alright, now let us wrap all of this together with a quick breakdown on how to actually play Caesar King. If you like playing characters that are all about controlling the flow of battle, Caesar is your gal. You're going to focus on timing your parry counters with perfect blocks in order to land those huge overpowered shield bashes and stack days on your opponents. Every single time you trigger a block or assist, you will keep that Radiant Ages buff rolling, giving you a fat shield and a sweet attack boost. And the best part? You're not just tanking hits for your team, you're going to debuff your opponents while doing so. The moment you land a perfect block or assist, they are going to eat their 25% damage taken debuff. Lastly, considering the way that her shield travels between characters, you're basically a walking support station. Caesar isn't just about soaking up damage, she's enabling your whole team to hit harder, live longer and look cooler while doing so. In short, Caesar King is a tactical bruiser who rewards smart play and perfect timing. Use her shields, land those perfect blocks and make your enemies regret stepping into the ring with the Queen of the Sons of Caledon. 
And remember, she might be a defensive character, but she's all about giving your opponents an offensive headache. Oh, and also, we are going to talk about combos in more detail after the whole gearing section. So there's more stuff to come when it comes to her talents. So, you've got the skills, you've got the perfect blocks down, and now you are ready to gear up Caesar King in order to turn her into an unstoppable juggernaut. If that is the case, then welcome to our stat, drive disc and W engine segment, or as I like to call it, the nerdy min-maxing paradise where we get into the nitty gritty of numbers, stats and what pieces of gear Caesar wants to have. Before we dive in, just know, Caesar is like that one friend who shows up at a party and gets along with everybody. She is a universal support character. Meaning she's flexible with how you build her and how you play her. But I will still walk you through the best drive discs and W engines we currently have. Let's start by talking about drive discs, basically your gear pieces. Now Caesar is pretty versatile, but there are some obvious standout choices here. At the very top of the list we've got our all new Protopunk. Protopunk is like that one friend who always remembers to bring snacks. It is reliable, it is always a good pick and it makes everybody happy. Why? Because it straight up increases your shield effect by 15%, which means even beefier shields. And as if that wasn't enough, every time Caesar pulls off a defensive assist, your whole team gets a 15% damage boost for 10 seconds. Since Caesar's gonna be cranking out defensive assists like an overcooked chef in a fast food kitchen, this set is basically always active, or at least as much as it can be. So yeah, if you're looking for a foolproof option, Protopunk is your way to go. For your offset you can go for either Swing Jazz or Shockstar Disco. Swing Jazz is for those of you who want some extra energy regeneration. It is a solid choice if you're trying to keep Caesar's skill flowing smoothly. And let's face it, more energy means more shield bashes, more days and generally speaking more pain for your enemies. Shockstar Disco is for those of you who want more days potential. It amps up your days effect from your abilities, so if you're building her around days heavy combos, this is a great pick. Now for the record, Protopunk and either Swing Jazz or Shockstar Disco is going to be Caesar's baseline combo for most situations, but hey, maybe you like getting fancy. As such, let us get into some other builds you can try when you really want to shake things up. Let us assume you are playing Jane Doe. Spoiler alert, I don't, but hey, I can dream. Pairing Caesar with Jane Doe opens up some solid options. A 4-piece Freedom Blue set combined with Swing Jazz or Shockstar Disco can boost your anomaly proficiency and shred through your opponent's physical resistance by 20%. All you need to do is to pop your X special attack and Caesar's basically playing the world's meanest support DPS hybrid. Now I know what you're thinking. What if I'm playing Caesar in combination with, let's say, Julian? Should I still pick Protopunk? Absolutely. But if you want to be a little bit extra, Let's talk about the slightly odd but surprisingly effective 4 piece swing jazz. With this set, after you land a Shane attack, you're getting a 15% damage boost for your entire team. And if you're running a Julian team, let's be honest here, you are going to be doing a lot of Shane attacks. And most importantly, your 15% damage buff will always be active when it actually matters. Alright, let us talk stats. Now Caesar is all about shields and support, but we still want her to punch above her weight when it comes to damage. Generally speaking, you want to focus on impact. This one is your go-to stat for any Caesar build. It will directly increase your shield strength. After that, we have crit rate and physical damage. Both are solid options depending on what team you're going to run. Crit rate will help Caesar get those juicy crits, while physical damage will amp up her overall damage. Attack and pen ratio can also be used instead of crit rate and physical damage, but you are going to lose out on about 5% of overall damage. But the difference is so minor that it actually doesn't matter. Anomaly Proficiency is the only stat I would advise you to use in very specific situations. Namely, a full-on assault team. Nekomata and Jane Doe, for example. It is very niche, but in those teams it is very effective. So long story short, go for impact first, Sprinkle in some crit rate and crit damage or physical damage and you're good to go. Caesar stats are flexible enough that you can play around with them without messing up your entire build. Finally, let us talk about W engines, or in simple terms, Caesar's weapons. Now spoiler alert, Caesar's signature engine Tusk of Fury 
is by far the best one. No shocker here, right? It is your golden pay to win ticket. Here is what you're getting. This engine will boost your impact shield effect days and it will also give you a team wide damage buff after triggering a perfect dodge or interrupt. So basically every time Caesar blocks, counters or just stands there looking intimidating, your whole squad gets stronger. Sounds pretty good, right? It is quite literally leaks ahead of everything else. The only downside? Well, it is her signature weapon. That means if you don't have it, you're working with less than ideal options. But don't worry, I've got you covered. For our free to play crew, which would include me, here are your top alternatives. If you don't have Tasso Fury, original Transmorpher is your next best option. It increases your impact stat, which will boost your shield, and it will also give you a little bit of HP. It doesn't have all the fancy buffs that Tusk of Fury does, but hey, we take what we can get, right? For a little energy regeneration, you've got Springs Embrace. Honestly, the energy regeneration effect is minimal, but hey, sometimes you just need that extra little boost of energy in order to keep going. Still one of the better options out there outside of Tusk of Fury. Now here is where it gets weird. Caesar can actually benefit from using non-defensive engines. I know, sounds wrong, right? But considering how lackluster our defensive engines are, you can sometimes get more mileage from engines that boost your impact outside of your defensive role. Why? Because they increase your shield value without gimping your offensive power. So yeah, we are bending the rules a little bit here, but we also don't have that much to work with. So until Mehoyo blesses us with some better defensive W engines, this is what we've got. In short, Protopunk is your best drive to set, but feel free to mix in Swing Jazz or Shockstar Disco depending on your team composition and depending on what you want to do. Stat-wise, impact all the way, and for W engines, go for Tusk of Fury if you can, or grab your best alternative option. Alright, let us talk about team composition, because what is a tank without their trusty damage dealing homies? Caesar King might be a walking fortress, but even she is better when she's got the right crew rolling with her. Now, if you thought I was going to tell you to tear apart your favorite team just to make room for Caesar, think again. She's got universal appeal, kinda like pizza. Everybody loves pizza, right? And Caesar's basically the meat lover special. Meaty shields, meaty debuffs, and she pairs well with almost any topping. I mean, team. First up, we've got the obvious synergy with characters like Zhu Yu Yan. Why? Well, they are a perfect match when it comes to chain attacks. Caesar's ability to refresh Radiant Ages with every single chain attack makes her a perfect support for Zhu Yu Yan. Plus, you will be proccing defensive assists left and right, keeping your shields and debuffs flowing for days. After that, we have Shane Doe, our physical DPS queen. Now, I would love to tell you more about Jane and Caesar working together, but I actually don't have her. So for now, let us just say that they are a match made in physical DPS heaven. Caesar boosts Jane's DPS output due to her shield and all of her buffs and debuff. And if you got Jane, congrats, you're living the dream. I'm just over here with FOMO because I don't have her. Lastly, let us not forget about the rest of our squad. Ellen definitely works. Soldier 11, throw her in as well. Basically, Caesar fits into any lineup that needs a defensive wall with a solid debuff to make life easier for your DPS. And with Bernice coming up soon, she might just end up being Caesar's best friend. As for Bang Boos, honestly, just pick the one that looks the cutest. The one that rides on a motorbike. The new one, top tier. No, but seriously, just pick the Bang Boo that fits into your team composition. Alright, as promised, we are now going to talk a little bit about how to actually use her in combat. I will simply assume you know what her abilities do and how to play her generally speaking. When it comes to Caesar, there are two ways of playing her, either as an on-field driver for days and buffs, or as a pure buffer and debuffer. If you play her as an on-field character in place of, let's say, Xingye and Anbi, then there are no combos to talk about. Just use your parry counters into overpowered shield bashes and apply your battle spirit debuff as much as you can. However, if you decide to play her as a pure support character, she will not have that much field time, right? So we need to make sure that our Radiant Ages buff is always active and our battle spirit debuff is as active as it can be. There are two ways of doing that. One is to simply switch to Caesar, do a parry counter into perfect block, into overpowered shield bash into dead and attack, 
and after that you can switch back to Zhu Yuan, Jing Yi, Ellen and so on. The other way is a little bit more optimized and makes use of a defensive assist. So if your enemy attacks and you swap to Caesar, she will automatically do a defensive assist. That in itself will activate battle spirit. Due to the fact that you did a defensive assist, you can activate your assist follow-up attack, aiding blade. We haven't talked about this one earlier, but effectively speaking, it is a follow-up attack, which will give you retaliation. And due to the fact that retaliation is active now, we can skip our X special attack parry counter and go right into our power cheat bash, which will give us radiant ages. And after that, you switch to whatever character you want to use. So let me say all of this again in more simple terms. Defensive assist into assist follow-up attack into X special attack overpowered shield bash. And that is all there is to it. Now all of your buffs and debuffs are active. However, there is one more scenario I want to highlight which might happen every once in a while. Your opponent gets stunned before you actually manage to activate your battle spirit debuff. Don't worry, there is a solution. Simply end your chain attacks on Caesar. Your chain attack itself will activate Radiant Ages and due to the fact that you are now on Caesar, you can quickly do a dead end attack before you swap to your main DPS. Take all of this with a grain of salt though, because you will lose out on damage on your chain attacks themselves, as you usually want to start them on Caesar so that you can buff your other character's chain attacks. Alright proxies, we've covered Caesar King from top to bottom, shield to sword, so what have we learned today? Caesar is a physical defense powerhouse who hands out shields like they are free candy at Halloween. She's easy to gear and easy to play, but with enough min-maxing potential to satisfy even the most obsessive number crunchers out there. Her talents revolve around perfect timing, big counters and stacking debuffs so thick your enemies will be praying for a patch. And she fits into pretty much any team, all while making them look better than they already are. She is in a way the ultimate wingman, or should I say wingwoman. Nah. Who cares, both of them work. Caesar King is an absolute beast. Whether you're looking to tank for your squad or just want to watch your enemies implode after a perfect block, she's tough, versatile, and let's be honest, she looks like she walked out of a heavy metal cover. And if that doesn't scream play me to you, then I don't know what does. So go ahead and give Caesar a spin. And if anyone asks why you're glowing so much in the game, just tell them it's your Radiant Ages. It's not a shield, it's a lifestyle. Thanks for watching, smash that like button, ring the bell and I will see you in the next one. Until then, keep gaming, keep slaying and remember, no one messes with Caesar. She will block your attacks and your excuses. Peace.